Look at that sod. Sod, dude. <laughs> sod. <laughs> <Got him. laughs> What's going on? We're kind of stuck in a tornado or something. It's windy, <laughs> which is completely irrelevant. <laughs> Maybe a little behind the scenes action. <laughs> Excuse me. There we go. Okay. Wonderful. Next side. All right, brothers, let's get some tires in the old taco. The taco, the mo, the ma. <laughs> and this, brothers, is a dead tire. Yes, it is. That's, I'm running racing slicks, boys. To some some new tires at some place and it'll be swell. Woo! Have fun chilling there. Now let's go get these things some new tread. Woo! It's chilly. Ain't gonna none lie. <laughs> that done goal is to get me some tires. Um the uh, first place is in the city. They're pretty cheap. If they don't got it, then we're heading out to Mannheim because they're the plug out there. But if we can get it closer, then we'll do that. <laughs> All right, plug one is a no-go on the size of the tires for Jessie because she has uh, not exactly common uh, size. But if you need cheap tires, uh, it's not gonna focus, but Robert's Tire 301 East Liberty. Um, yeah, it's a little uh, urban, one might say, um, if you're cool with that. <laughs> oh, the Farquad, am I going to get out of here? All right, so we've got some new used tires on them. They're good Goodyear's, so I'm happy with them. Uh, they're matching. The tread's actually better than I've gotten before at used tire places, so I'm happy with it. <laughs> There's the old one. Um, how much it should have broken on me. Yeah. Anyway, if you want used tires or new tires for that matter, Country Tire Barn in Mannheim, Pennsylvania has some swell deals and if you give them a good review on the interweb then they take some more funds off. Me not knowing the first thing about the internet decided to do that and got a few bucks off and are disposing of them ourselves. We'll see how that ends up happening. We'll see how we dispose of the one tire they ended up having us keep. Anyway, check them out. Country Tire Barn. Yeet. In case you didn't know, Mannheim, Pennsylvania is one of the biggest car 
selling, moving places around. There's a huge auto auction that is based here in Mannheim, which is why there's so many cars. And as you drive all up this road, it's just dealerships after dealerships. Some not so nice, and some pretty nice, and some very nice. There isn't one right here, but you pretty much got everything you want as, uh, as car dealerships go. Even got a river. Some of the nice cars. Mm, oh, got it. Eh, they ate. Beamers, Hondas, Porsches. More Porsche, very. Yeah, Mannheim Imports, that's. They got some nice vehicles there. And yeah, this this whole area is just vehicles on vehicles. The actual auction is, where is that? It's over this way, right? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, the actual large Mannheim auto auction is this huge lot that's coming up on our, yep, there it is. Yeah, see all those cars? Yeah, there's more than one. <laughs> At least three. This is Mannheim, Pennsylvania. Hey, we're whipping out behind the three. Ooh, listen to that 350 per, or 370? I should know this, I'm a, I'm a VQ YouTuber. I should probably know the difference between a 350 and a 370, and that's a 370. That's beautiful. If you are a car enthusiast that drives multiple cars, then you'll understand, oh, rough match. See you later, buddy. You understand the pain of driving a car that's not your fancy sports car, and when you see other fancy sports cars and you want to be friends and brothers, but you can't be because you're not driving your night, it's a problem. It really is, okay? Look at that sod. Sod, dude. <laughs> <laughs> sod. Ah! <laughs> ah! <laughs> like you feel like knowledge is charging the field. Ooh, hold your breath. Don't, don't. Breathe in, it doesn't go. Demonetized. <laughs> Finally back home after Austin took us probably the longest way possible from Mannheim back to Lampeter. What do you mean? I thought we were just trying to chill and cruise. <laughs> Got us some newly acquired rub. Oh, he's huge! <laughs> Boy. Boy, yeah. We uh, closed the garage door and got nice and cozy in my tiny ass garage because it's freezing outside. Ah! Now these lugs are so far back in and they're so small that it's so hard to hand tighten them before I torque them. Or before I impact them. Before I torque them. <sighs> Uh, now we lower her and we torque them down to 85 foot pounds. Oh, this isn't even under, right? No. We might have to put the garage back up. Nope, not gonna happen. Great, always, always. important to uh, torque your baby girls right. Now time to break in the new tires. Hell yeah, brother. All right, so far they feel like wheels and tires. That's not a problem so far because I feel like that's what it's probably supposed to be like. That cop just went in a circle. I just went in a circle and he did the same. Anyway, 
Still so got some tires. Pretty solid good year on uh, on my baby girl here. And uh, we be working for that inspection grind. And for the race season. Maybe no one's better. We'll see. Anyway, thanks for coming along on this journey. If you uh, if you enjoy this video at all, please slap it up with a thumbs up. Say hi in the comment section below. Hit that subscribe button that helps me uh, 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 out a bunch. And as always, guys, I am just Sean being Sean, just being me, just be you. Thank you guys so much for 1,000 subscribers.